Have a look at this. Imagine that I have one of those air track gliders along here. And let's have the glider actually contain an aluminium sheet. It's moving along here. We're good physicists, so we're gonna be ignoring friction as always. As the glider is moving along, it's going to enter a region of a magnetic field. Now, this magnetic field here will be perpendicular to the direction of motion, so it could be, let's say, into the board or out of the board, etc. The question is, what's gonna to happen to the velocity of the glider as it enters the field while it's completely within the field and moving through it and while it is exiting the magnetic field. Well, let's analyze the situation. This is aluminium. As it enters the magnetic field, there's a rate of change of magnetic flux linkage. This will induce an EMF within the aluminium sheet, which will have its own magnetic field that will oppose the change that caused it, i.e. Lenz's law. In other words, the aluminium sheet, as it's entering, will have its own field, which is gonna be opposing the external one, meaning that it will slow down. As it's traveling through the field, there will be no change of magnetic flux linkage, meaning that by Faraday's law, no EMF will be induced. Therefore, the speed of the glider will be constant. This needs to assume that there is no loss of energy due to friction and air resistance though. I think the question should have made that a little bit more clear. Very interestingly, as it is leaving, the whole process will actually appear again because when it's leaving, there's once again a rate of change of magnetic flux linkage there is once again an induced EMF within the glider and once again that field from the induced EMF will pose the external one meaning that the glider will slow down yet again and this right here is the correct answer a few years ago, there was a question which only 50% of A-level students managed to solve correctly. And this is precisely why you should have a look at this video right over here to make sure that you can solve this. Click over here. 